Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to be making a video for Mod Organizer, uh, specifically on Linux, and getting it actually running and getting the Mod Manager downloads to work on Linux as well. So we're going to go to the Mod Organizer GitHub, and we're going to go to the Releases tab, and then we are going to go scroll down and grab the 7-zip for Mod Organizer. We are then going to have it right here. Once it's finished downloading, we are going to extract it. You can extract it anywhere you'd like. And I'm just going to rename this folder to my mod list. All right, now that you have finished this, you can now go to Steam. And then from Steam, we're going to be adding a game, a non-Steam game. Browse. And we're going to be going to wherever we put it at. So uh, I went to downloads and that's my mod list. And we're going to be adding the mod organizer. .exe. Add selected programs, search up mod organizer. And I'm going to rename this to and I'm going to uh, force a compatibility tool and use experimental. And then once you've done that, I'm going to add this to uh, Elder Scrolls collection. So now it'll appear here. I'm going to press play. Mod organizer is going to open up. I have no way of scaling this properly right now. I believe Proton 10 has a better scaling method. Uh, press next, create a portable instance, and we're going to browse. And then we are going to go find our uh, Skyrim folder or whatever game you're using. I'll get into uh, how to actually show the .steam folder in a second, but I have mine on a different drive and it's an M and T. So Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then Skyrim special edition. Now, one thing you could do um, instead, or you can make a stock game, which is also pretty simple. Um, we do it a lot for Skyrim itself, just because how small the game is. So I would go down inside of Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then I would go scroll down, name, Skyrim Special Edition. I would copy everything from here, and I would make a new folder and title it Stock Game. Go into Stock Game, and I would paste the entire folder. While that is happening, I could go back, 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 and I could browse instead. And then now it will be inside of my home, me, downloads, my mod list, and stock game. That's one way you could do it. Steam, pro I'd select these profile games specific INIs and save games. Next, my mod list should already be set up correctly. And we're going to connect to Nexus. And we're going to press the Authorize button. Now we're connected. Everything is here. And then we're going to do Never Ask, No, Import, Nexus Categories, and press Yes. Once this is all set up, you are good to close out of Mod Organizer. And now we're going to go on to a script I made with DeepSeek. I know, AI, but I don't know how to code. And this makes it really simple. So you're going to copy this. I can even say the description. Um, if you're using a shell like bash or fish, I mean, you can type bash. If it does nothing, you're already in bash. Paste in the command and you can set up number one, set up an XM handler. And then it's going to ask you whatever your Steam game is, whatever you named it to. So Skyrim, my mod list, I would put in two. And then we're going to grab the nxmhandler.exe. So in the mod organizer folder you made, there is a nxmhandler.exe. I'm going to right click it, copy location. I'm going to paste. So it should be something along the lines of this. And you can press enter and it's done. Would I like to perform another action? Yes. And then number two is this. I'm going to be running number two again. 
and it's going to install everything for you. So while this is happening, I'm going to just kind of wait around a little bit and then I will come back to it when it's done. All right, once everything is done, it's gonna ask you to like perform another action, but there is no other actions, so we're just gonna press no. And it says all completed. And we're gonna close out the terminal window, going back to Steam, and you should be good to open Mod Organizer. Mod Organizer will open. And then what that did is, now if you go to Nexus, what that did is if you go down to Nexus, you should be good to just, let's say, um, I guess, click on the Belly of Bats Open City Skyrim patch update. If you click on download with Vortex or Mod Manager, download, it should actually download inside here. And now you can double click it and install it like normal, as if you were on Windows. So there is one of the things that this script does. And then, as well, you should be good to also just open the game. The game should just open, it being a stock game folder, if you chose to do that. And then you can just do continue, but um, everything's already downloaded, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, there is that. And now I'm going to get onto the portion of running modded tools like uh, Body Slide, uh, Pandora, all that stuff. So give me one second. All right, now that I am done installing everything, it all installed from here. Um, I'm going to now add SKSE, or I will be doing root builder. I added that as well. Build, sync, and then we will be adding, adding a three executables. SKSE loader is now right here. Move this guy up to the top. And then we will be adding mods, Pandora as a replacement for Nemesis and FNIS. And then we'll be adding one more thing, body slide. Up, body slide, client titles, body slide, x64. I have not messed with x64 or body side in general, but we're going to be running Pandora first. Body side. Select the game folder, Skyrim. Why is it not? Oh, there it is. I don't know what that was. Downloads, my mod list, stock game. Build morphs, preset, let's just do athletic. Patch build, build. And then it will run just like normal. I think I might have messed up some of the Pandora. Um, might, might give me a second on that as well. Uh, like I said, I don't have much modding experience in the first place, but after that's done, I'm going to close it out. Now we're good to load SKSE. It might also be because I have it set as a window. I'm not sure. Let's try making a new game. Okay, yeah. And now I can dot. Slide roll. I go into settings, mod configuration. Yeah. I don't have MCM helper on here, so it's probably not appearing up there, but yeah, everything is working. I can dodge 
and you're able to configure it how you normally would, just like on Windows. So there's my guide for getting MO2 up and running. Um, I believe the script should work for almost every game. I might change it in a bit to fix up like DirectX 12 games. Um, I think Cyberpunk needs some extra work done to it to actually get it running. I'm not sure. Uh, if there is any issues, um, just let me know in, um, let me know in either the Wapajack Discord or I might make a Discord myself. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it for this video. So again, like I said, I just had to reinstall TK Dodge RE. I didn't install it correctly. I had to do install. I had to do TK Dodge standalone, which I missed. And if I open up Pandora, it's now right there. TK Dodge standalone. If I run it, four mods, uh, four animation default female male. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, if there's any issues, just let me know. Uh, preferably Discord. I do not like talking inside YouTube comments. It's not a good way to contact somebody. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.